Good afternoon, someone's turned the flipping temperature down today. Anyway, I've got another one, a Crafter, Volkswagen, uh, 21 plate, uh, fault code, um, uh, generator uh, signal of the limb bust. Sounds a bit like that old uh, Land Rover we had. Uh, but this one, it, uh, at the start, it connects sometimes, it will come up saying voltage low, and then it'll disappear, and then it doesn't charge for about 30 seconds, and then it goes into charging. Normal 14, 14 volts, 14 volts. But otherwise it sits at battery voltage all the way along. So I've had a quick look. Uh, I've got my signal from the battery, and as you can see, um, what's that one reading? We're only reading eight volts now. Oh, well, that one's 12, which I think is the battery, and the alternator now, I don't think I've got connected. So, but other than that, it was reading 12.57. So the battery's fine. And this is what I'm just having a look at as well. So, just checking the uh, the LIN there, the LIN bus is fine. And then I've got, obviously I'm checking me uh, earth wire and I'm checking me positive wire. So that's given me my voltages of what I'm after. And what did Trev find? And this is why it's only a quick one because we've already done the Land Rover. Um, and I don't know if you can see it, let's have a little look. Can you see the green on the end there? There she is. Another one that's broken at the end. So that's the reason why. Um, but no, it's a weird one. You think the Land Rover came up, I've got faults, I, I don't like this. And the Crafter, it just uh, sorts itself out and just charges 14 volts until obviously someone like me comes along and fixes it. But I'll get this done and I'll show you what we got after I've uh, soldered it up. Well, I've got a pretty picture. Does it mean what I want it to do? I've now got my limb bus now on me, uh, the yellow one, which is coming from the alternator. Not so sure that's a very good picture. Because at the moment it's only charging 13.2. Uh, yeah, but this could be a smart charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and give it a run and see what happens after that. But at least we've got everything's talking now. So this could have a dodgy alternator on the way out. We'll have to wait and see. Right, I'll plug in the scanner and I'll take it for a drive and then we'll see what the scanner tells me. Um, expecting 14.5 hmm. let's see where we go from here okay I thought this was going to be a short one but I think this is important and summarize of everything as you saw me before I was earning an airing was it a dodgy alternator was it not and obviously with not knowing how this this system works on here um, I could make a big old mistake but what I think I've found now if you have a look here the specific voltage now is 15 volts it's probably that high 14.8 15 volts because the battery is probably on its way out but when I was driving possibly I don't know probably 10 minutes it was only reading 12.7 the battery when you turn it off is 11.8 I'm wondering if anyone out there knows I would like to know but does it start charging when the coolant temperature gets up to temperature and then it puts the load on the engine where perhaps there's not so much load what I did notice though let's see if we can turn it off and see if it starts again see the voltage drops down to 10.6 so I think I'm going to um, put a thing in saying it needs an, a new um, a new battery because that's not good 
but the code i'll show you the code of why, why i went for the, the broken wire but there's nothing wrong with this this alternator at all i mean you could really make a right guess on here and it'll still do the same thing so you start it and then it runs at i bet it's gonna see 12.2 but if you turn this up like that See, 13.5, 13, 13 and so that's the smart charge. So it is working, so the battery must be fairly charged, it's happy, turn it down, it goes down. I've got the headlights on. So if I turn the headlights off, what have we got now? 12.2, so it's not charging, but if you carry on driving, now I might be wrong here, but the smart charge because these things are flaming so if anyone does know if this actually as I say because obviously it must be charging because it's only running it's 11 volts on the battery so I will be putting in a request to have it changed if they do it or not that's another thing in it right so if we go in and go into fault codes and you'll see what, what I was going see if we got any in it so I've got none now none at all which I would have had after the test drive but if I go into and I've got no codes in anything now the code I had it in it was in the gateway so I want to finish here and I want to get out yes and then what I want to show you it's where I uh, went for the history. Isuzu. We had a nice, not the Isuzu. So this should tell me. See, this is all the fault codes I had. Um, that one hasn't come back at all. That might be an old code. Um, can't do nothing about that because the um, camera in the front is as loose as hell because someone's hit it. That might be just a, a battery key. But this was the one I went for. Generator, no communication, and a static current too large. And I believe that's why it had the broken wire, and that's what caused that one. Central locking, I think that was just a, but that was your active one there. I can't do nothing. So, hopefully, if, um, if you get one of these, don't worry about it not charging, take it for a run and see if it gets back up to 14.5 um, obviously if it had a decent battery in it'll probably be running different again but I would like to know anyone out there if it starts charging when the cooling temperature sensor gets hot and it starts to put the load on then because it takes about 15 minutes before it comes on it'd be nice to know how the system works so if you can actually let me know how the system works, I mean, I'm only guessing here, but I know this is working, so I'm happy to give it back to the customer. Um, we've telling them it needs a, probably a 250, 300 quid battery, but it's not my car, is it? So I hope that helped, because it, it was certainly helped me, because um, I was getting close to thinking it was a dodgy alternator and oh, I really don't think it's a dodgy alternator now I believe it's um, uh, it's just modern day times where it's not actually putting load on the engine to to uh, charge the battery it lets it get warm and then it starts charging the battery not much cop if you do short journeys is it but I'm sure it would sort itself out then wouldn't it because obviously I mean when you turn the fan on we actually did see the, um, we did actually see the, um, the the charge rate go up to to accommodate it. So I believe the the vehicle is happy with the the battery as it is, even though I'm not. And um, stop start don't work, so it's got to be. And this thing's on the road all day. I mean, this does 10 hour days and it don't stop. So. I would say it's definitely a battery but other than that I've got rid of my generator fault here which I'm happy about 
and um, I'll give it back to him and I can have it back to put a battery in that's not a whole one so I really do do I say thanks for watching really hope this helped um, and again let us know if you think that it actually starts charging on the cooling temperature sensor that's just my way of thinking but my, my head thinks weird and wonderful things so anyway great to watch time for tea um, and uh, thanks thanks for watching it's appreciated cheers bye